yeah, I be smoking weed on the intro, but I'm drinking water. What's up, guys? I'm coming at y'all with another trip to the thrift video. Um, sorry that this video is going to be a lot of ins and outs. Um, kind of just beat parts and pieces into stores. Some of them like Savers, some of them are Goodwill, some of them are just random thrift stores that I happen to walk into. Um, so a lot of it is just coming in and out. Sorry that it's kind of like that, but um, I'm in actually the process of moving out of my apartment. So um, I've been dealing with that. So kind of like a lot of times I just kind of like just stopped into the uh, thrift store, checked everything out, and then kind of just left. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like the story behind this one. Anyways, uh, I found so much stuff this week, so that's also why I'm going to make this video kind of short, just so I can get to the very end of the video and show you everything I got. There's just so, this is like one of the best hauls that I've had in a while. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for that. And then also, um, I'm going to be meeting with my boy Carlos and Sergio right now. I'm going to ship out some packages, as you can see. So I'm going to the post office right now to ship out those packages before it closes, and then we will be hitting up. Sergio and Carlos and we will be doing some mad thrifting to end this video. So stay tuned and let's get into it. On the Calvin Johnson's Detroit Lions jersey. It's pretty clean to XL, but they don't have a price tag, so I don't know when I'm grabbing it. Also found these. This one's for fucking 14 though, they're tripping. They want only like $5.99 for them. I remember my younger brother used to have a pair of these. That's pretty cool, just sitting with the shoes, size 14. Found this like dope cowboy corduroy material. But it's pretty beat, so I don't think I'm gonna grab it. They only want $4, but still, I don't think I'm gonna grab it. Found these fire red fours at Saver. $7.99. Got them for $4. Hitting up them savers, 50% off. What it do, Sergio? Yeah, so we're gonna check out the savers. They got 50% off. We ready to scoot up some shit. I'm feeling Jays, man. We got this heat right here. This is for Sergio. He got that baby feet, baby dick. You know how I do. <laughs> found this New England jersey. And then I also found this pair of um, 18s, size 11. And it's 50% off today. So we finna get them hoes for $6. And getting this jersey for three dollars. What it do? Town, they got a sale over here. Found some uh, DS Great Fives. <laughs> this place fake as fuck. They want seventy nine ninety nine from the hoes. They tripping. Look at these fake as fuck. Sergio, uh, uh, my boy Sergio, I think is in the copies hoes. Pretty dope racing hat number ninety six, signed by uh, Sergio. This badass penman set. Found a sick pair of vapes. Another one, 9 dollars for them. Hey, sir, is this size nine and a half? That's all you. Old school Blazers jersey by Majestic Sergio found. All right, so we came to this random uh, Salvation Army, and I found this dope ass Walt Disney Hoopers. It has like number 28 on there, and then it has Mickey hooping right here, and it says. Right here, Walt Disney World, authentic 1971. Coopers across the back. That's dope as hell. What you gonna find, Sergio? You gonna find some heat? Not a damn thing. God damn it, Sergio. Disappointed me. I found this dope ass Dwayne Wade jersey at Plato's Closet. It has all the tags on it and shit. And they only want eight bucks for it. Definitely copping this. Champion USA jersey. Penny Hardaway. But they want. 40 bucks for us, so it's gonna be sitting here. Uh, sick Chicago hockey NHL hat. It's a little messed up, but I feel like we'll fix it, clean it up, wash it. We want three dollars, so it looks pretty sick. So I think I'm gonna cop it. And then also in the jersey mix, I found this Kevin Garnett uh, number 21, black with white. Um, Looks pretty dope. It's super clean too. Nothing, no rips or anything. It's a large and men's by Nike. So I think I'm gonna cop it. They only want $3.99 for it, so. Found two dope champion jerseys. The Hill, old school Pistons. Champion logo right there. And I found the Spurs. Tim Duncan, number 21. It's also a champion jersey. So I came into Savers and they had a shitload of jerseys. They got number 21, another Kevin Garnett. I sold one of these not too long ago. Got a Bulls D Rose jersey. Bang. 
And they got this like double sided uh, Brett Favre starter, je starter jersey. It's pretty cool. And then they got another number 21, Kevin Garnett. But I just copped one of those yesterday, so I'm gonna leave that one here. And then they had this badass Sixers jersey for McKimbe, the Kimbe McCumbo. Oh shit. Another jersey, the Magic McGrady, number one. So that's pretty sick. They want ten dollars for it. I think I'm gonna leave that here. But here's uh, that McKinley Matumbo number 55. Pretty sick. We got an Oak Hill number 22 Jordan logo right there. Jordan logo right there, and it is Carmelo Anthony. So that was pretty sick. But they want fucking twenty five dollars for it. So this thing's gonna be sitting here. You got the big Jordan logo right there at the bottom. And Carmelo Anthony. I'll stitch it in the back. So that's pretty sick. Fine, but. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. Found some Kobe's at Salvation Army. This is really like the only time I've ever found a decent pair of fucking shoes at Salvation Army. Most of the time they're all like shit. But yeah, some Kobe's chilling at Salvation Army. That's nearly not much else. Alright, so walking in here, I found this pair of Pure Money 4s sitting in the display case. So I'm about to ask the lady how much she wants for them hoes. Sitting at Salvation Army. Hopefully she wants like 10 bucks, but I bet you anything they're gonna ask for rape. So let's see what she says. So like right after I left that Salvation Army by my job, I went to the one by my house and they had these. Um, they're still like, like sick as fuck condition. Like, you know, big so cool. So yeah, the lady was super cool. They had 50% off on Wednesdays, and like I said, it was Tuesday. So the lady hooked it up, and she was like, you know what, I'll give it to you for $5. So it was like $5.48 after tax. It's like no paint cracking. So I only paid $5.48, like I said, after tax. Um, they're size 5.5, and, and they saw the jump in inside and everything. So that was super cool that the lady did that. So shout out to the Salvation Army lady for hooking it up. First stop with the squad, Carlos. Is uh, those pink shoes, Carlos? Yeah. I'm that's you gay as fuck. I'm <laughs> and we got Serge over here being mopey dopey. Look at them faggot ass pink shoes, man. <laughs> I'm Pearl KDs, boy. The Salvation Army is dead as fuck. There's like nobody here. Next stop, Plato's Closet. Where is it? It's right here. So, the close suck dick here. This is exactly why I say this fucking Plato's Closet is fucking chorro. Never any shoes, no hats, and their clothes are all ugly as hell. See, this is where they keep the fire at. Look at these six rings. What else they got? That's it. <laughs> Some Nike Cortezes. They got any hats? Is there any hats over here? These are all fucking shit. Shit. Sergio looking at some Tim's. Fucking this is a dope Green I'm Bay uh, snap bag. It has tags and everything. Ten bucks. It's fucking kid size, it's like small as hell. So I don't think I'm grabbing it. Get a ten. So we got the two bitches and crying I found over a these. Fucking ten cents in the shoe. I'm recording. Um, black what? Black Cat? Yeah, I forgot to look. I blanked on the name of these. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Black Cat threes. Twenty bucks. It's still in good condition. Just oh, make this paint cracking on the inner. And fucking wore the shit. Yeah, the, the sole is pretty worn. But 20 bucks, dude, just to like have them. I say grab them. All right, I am back in my crib and I am done thrift stopping for this past week. It's been a crazy week, got tons of stuff. And one of the stuff that I didn't actually thrift, my dad thrifted for me. I will show you at the end of this video. It's pretty dope that he found that. Um, so yeah, sorry I didn't have an exit video for you. After we went to Nice Kids, we pretty much just went to go get something to eat. And after that, it was too late for us to, um, 
to go ahead and uh, go any more thrift stores. So I just went ahead and dropped my homies off at home and then came home and now I'm doing this video. So let's crack into everything that I got. Hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. All right, let's crack into the hats real quick so we can get to the shoes. All right, so I got this NHL Blackhawks um, snapback. Pretty cool, just big patchy on the front. Says so Chicago on the back. Stitched in, snapback, got it for like uh, $2.99, yeah, $2.99, so just a pretty cool hat that I went ahead and grabbed. Then I grabbed this uh, Champions Denver Broncos um, snapback San Diego because that year is where it was played, Super Bowl right there, and then it just says Super Bowl on the back, so I got that for $2.99, needs some work, but that's no big deal. Um, got this big auto parts racing snapback, says 96 on the side, um, it was all clean, like super clean, like no stains on the inside or anything, so I went ahead and grabbed that for... Uh, I believe $2.99 also. It's just a cool little red hat I can grab. Um, then I got this strap back polo. Um, has this huge polo logo right here on the front. All green. Has this three stitched in right here on the side in, in um, bold lettering. And then has Ralph Lauren uh, fragrances on the back with the strap back. Got it for $3.99. Um, orange under brim. So it was a pretty cool little hat, polo hat that I grabbed. Um, then I found this uh, number four Brett Favre jersey, starter jersey. The only reason why I really grabbed it because it was starter and the inside of it was um, reversal. So you flip it in and out. And I only paid like $4.99 for it. So it was a pretty cool little Brett Favre jersey. You can see Brett Favre on the back. Um, there was no major problems with this. So I went ahead and grabbed that. So I got this uh, Welker jersey, number 83 from New England Patriots. I went ahead and grabbed that because it was 50% off that day. Um, he no longer plays for them anymore. I believe he plays for like the Broncos now. But it was whatever. I paid like 4 bucks for it. So it's no big deal. And then I got this Mickey, um, Mickey's Hoopers, um, like, baseball jersey kind of thing going on. It's pretty cool. Like, this is all, like, embroidered in right here. They got 28 on the side with, like, this um, cotton material on the inner side. It's pretty cool. And then you got the Hooper, Mickey hooping it up right here on this, uh, on this sleeve. Walt Disney World right here. And then at the very bottom, you got this... Um, Walt Disney Authentic 1971. And the coolest part was across the back, Hoopers. And big bold letter with again this like um, patch material, like this fabric material on the inside of there. And they actually wanted um, $5.99 as you can see, but it was 50% off, so I only paid like $3.49 after tax, so it was like a crazy steal. Um, too bad it doesn't fit me. We got a Timberwolves uh, number 21 Kevin Garnett jersey. Um, I actually had one of these about a month ago and it sold it pretty quickly, so I went ahead and grabbed this for only $3.99 at uh, I believe it was Savers. Um, just Nike logo NBA right there. It is a large so yeah i went ahead and grabbed that for 3.99 then at plato's closet i found this or actually sorry my boy carlos found this miami heat number three um adidas large um jersey and it is duane wade and the cool part about this was it was brand new with all the tags still and uh plato's closet only wanted eight bucks usually they won't rate but they actually wanted only eight dollars so i went ahead and grabbed that um still in brand new condition so Yep, that was pretty cool. And then for me personally, I grabbed this um, Grant Hill Pistons uh, jersey. Has the champion logo right here. It's actually a boys extra large, which actually fits me like a small and men. Um, got the champion logo right here, NBA logo right there, and then um, Grant Hill on the back, 33. Actually, there's two of these, uh, two jerseys that I grabbed um, at that Goodwill, and they didn't have no tags. So I was like, I went up there, and the lady was like, I gave them to you. For four bucks. So I went ahead and paid four bucks a piece, which I also grabbed the Spurs number 21 champion logo right here, XL. Um, but like I said, it smells like a small and boys. I grabbed it for myself. Champion logo right here, NBA logo right there. And then Tim Duncan across the back, number 21. No paint cracking. So I got these both for four dollars. So that was a steal. Pay eight dollars for both of them. Then I got this Sixers jersey, number 55. Um, it's an extra large. Um, NBA logo right there, Nike Swish right there, and then Makimbe Matumbo, or Dikimbe Matumbo, however you want to pronounce his name, I'm not sure. 55 right here, so it was pretty cool little jersey, they paid $9.99 for it. So, uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and crack into the shoes. Um, that was all the jerseys that I grabbed, all the hats that I grabbed. So, let's get into the best part, which is all the shoes that I grabbed. So, let's get into it. All right, first pair of shoes is this um, Bread 11s that I got at Savers for $6.99. So I just went ahead and grabbed those for $6.99. Then they, at the same Savers, they had that one and this one. I think it deleted the footage by accident. They had this one size 11C for 11, uh, sorry, $9.99. They had $9.99 for these, so I went ahead and grabbed those also. Then at Savers, 50% off. I went ahead and grabbed these fours. I know they're a little bit beat, but I can easily restore them. It was 50% off. They actually wanted um, $8 and I got them for $4. So I went ahead and grabbed those. What the heck? 
Then at Salvation Army, I went ahead and grabbed these um, Bling 4s. They're actually super clean. Like the lady hooked it up, gave me 50% off. So I actually got these for only five bucks, like $5 and some change. So shout out to the Salvation Army for hooking it up. And so yeah, so super easy, size five and a half. So if you're interested, hit me up. All right, let's get into the men's pair of shoes. I got these at the live auction. My dad was there and he bid on these for bid on these shoes for me. Um, just a pair of KD size 11, um, really clean condition. Um, so as you can see the bottom. So really no flaws for them. So I only got them for twenty five dollars. So what the heck, some KD for twenty five? Why not? Then today at Plato's Closet with my boys. Um, I got these Black Cat 3s. Yes, they are pretty, um, like, not in the best condition. They have some midsole cracking right there and some heel um, hit, some heel drag. But it's not too bad. They are just really dirty. I can clean them up, and I guarantee you I can get them more than $20 um, for these babies right here. So $20, size 10, and not bad. I'm going to restore them and get a lot more for them. Um, the next shoe I got right here is a pair of 18s. I went ahead and grabbed these from... Uh, what was it? Uh, what store did I grab these from? Oh, shit, I forgot what store I got these from. I believe it was Savers. Yeah, Savers. I got them Savers for 50% off with these fours. Um, so I got them 50% off. They were actually asking $12.99 for them, and I got them for a steal price of only 6 bucks. So they're still really clean, really good condition, size 11. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on eBay unless you're interested. I will hook you up if you're watching my channel. Um, so you can see in the Varsity Red colorway. So yeah, that's a really good pickup. For six dollars, and then for the sneaker find, I got this pair of 2001 Columbia 11s. They're in really good condition. 23 still on the back. Let me show you the other pair just to compare them side by side. So, as you can see, like they're really good condition. Columbia patent leather, no cracking on the patent leather. I have actually been cleaning um, the left shoe just because um, I'm gonna do restoring them. Look, as you can see, like the, the right side is like piss damn yellow and this side is starting to like on the second session. But yeah, anyways, so I'm going, this was like the sneaker find. Um, I actually did not record this. My dad was at the thrift store. I will be showing you a picture right there um, of the picture he sent me. He was like, hey, look what I found at the thrift store, size seven and a half. Do you want them? I'm like, hell yeah. Even if there was a kid size, I would have grabbed them. And he actually got them for only uh, $8.99 so after tax it was like $10 so that was a lick just only flaw was it didn't come with shoelaces which I can just order on AngelusDirect.com um, but anyways that was super lick that I grabbed so that's like a super steal um, at Goodwill so shout out to my dad for coming through in the clutch with these but anyways thanks guys for watching my video channel I kinda ran through everything pretty quick um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm already working on the next video for you guys, um, Thrift Store Finds. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace, guys.